the kinesiology, how high the Hara is in a basis with the geometry that we saw, establishes a degree of muscular contraction for this structure to be maintained and the power of sustentation towards the many accessible angles from here. Logically, the recruitment of the muscle fibers in which muscle groups shall be used for us to move from here will vary in relation to how high or low the Hara is. For each distance for the ground until the Hara in each Kamai, there are principles in the physics and in and experiences in the biomechanics that comes to show where the nature of some movements are propitious and where not. Our technique starts with a Kizani and a Ski. So, In the first movement of Kizani, we just retreat, establish it one by In the second movement, although we attempt to hit in this part of his arm. Uh, actually, this attempt would be called a tetsubo because it would uh, resemble a hammer. And actually, we attempt to hit at this point because uh, here we'd find. Uh, a nerve, this nerve is called radial nerve and uh, it comes that this nerve comes outside of the bone so our hip would come <coughs> from here to there and actually when we hit in this point in this way uh, his arm actually describe this movement as if it was an extension another point state comes when one tries to perform this hip and then uh, as the hip spins freely this foot also spins and uh, actually there is no sustentation there is just uh, a circular movement and uh, we need to sustain the reaction of his body until our foot to the ground so the only foot that spins that turns is this one, the front one because movement comes from here to there and uh, we have some we need to have some fixed point in the ground it would be in this case this foot so movement if we perform it very slowly would come from the soil would reach the hara would go upwards through the spine and then divide and actually in this case we we'll try to focus on just one point and then hit like a hammer. It will go like this. These are super Texas. As we are moving, both our arms protect us. Just an instant after the hit, our left hand stops the movement at the elbow. And then this will give us the following condition to establish a new eye and impose the hara in his shoulder. It's also very usual uh, to have some mistakes here and we attempt to, to put our strength like this, but actually we are focusing a great part of our strength in one point here, centrally, and uh, it comes that we have to find an axis, a line of action here. 
for this to happen and for us to transmit our strength properly, we have to think in a line from Morhara to the end of that line, this shoulder in this case. So at this point, uh, our elbows they can bend because if they do like this, we are having two triangles here, and actually great great part of our power is being wasted in this point.